So while I'm testing this shirt, I've also got this gift from a friend. It's a case so you can use a phone in wet conditions or if it falls in water. She ordered two of them and gave one to me, so I'm trying this out tonight as well. So that's pretty cool. Keep my phone safe and protected. It's uh, brand new. There's something like $1,500. Well, that was back when I got the thing for an S10 Plus, so... Yeah, just out for a walk here. Kind of neat seeing the glow from the city lights. Green sky. So my ears are a bit cold because of the humidity and the cool air, but otherwise I'm doing good. The shirt is keeping me warm enough in this damp, cold weather. So it definitely passes this test. So I just ran into some people, you know, the street people, hobos, and uh, they're trying to repair a bicycle in the dark down a little grass alleyway, freezing outside, you know, they're out, everything they have is soaked. Here I am, trying to see how a shirt does, you know, and that's how they live every day, out in the cold. Wait for that guy to go by. Balik, how crazy is that, right, you know? You gotta think about those people. Some of them, it's from drug abuse, or they rip someone off, you know, get kicked out of a home, but, uh, these people, they live it every day on the streets and it's only going to get worse as it gets colder outside. So, you know, you got to show a little compassion to them. I stopped, asked how they were doing. Had some uh, drinks and some snacks for them. Gave them some uh, tea and some coffee, like uh, packages. So they can make some drinks along the way when they find a spot to warm up. But yeah, it's always good to treat people like they're human, you know. Give them a chance when they haven't harmed you yet. So, always good to help you people out. But, uh, like usual, they didn't want to, to be on video. I don't blame them though. They get pretty paranoid and stuff. Just trusting the people. Here's a look at Piper Creek here. You have view this way. It's a thin bit of ice on top. It hasn't been flowing in forever anyway. Doing really good. Uh, nice and warm. Each time that I've stopped, you know, I get a little bit chilly. When the wind picks up, my uh, chest and arms get a little chilly. My back, of course, having the ADC bag, keeping me warm, but uh, so far, you know, for one thin layer over my fat body, it's doing good. So, I don't know if I'd want to go much colder than this, because I could end up, you know, uh, going hypothermic or getting frostbite, you know, on exposed skin and so on. Well, similar to last time, I've gone about nine kilometers and uh gone for a couple hours now doing great a little bit cold on areas that you know got exposed skin otherwise doing awesome really this uh it's not the warmest shirt ever each time i stop i can definitely feel the cold and when the wind picks up but uh it's keeping me warm enough to keep going i haven't had to put on extra gloves or put on my hoodie or anything so I'll be able to get back to Kirk HQ no problem like this. Doing really good. But uh, <laughs> as my Shemog gets really wet from the moisture and starts to freeze up, <laughs> my water line's already frozen. Just uh, makes it a little harder to breathe through the Shemog as it freezes over. Otherwise though, doing good. <laughs> 